to be frank, I had been in practice for 10 years and I was struggling as a business owner. You know, one of the jokes about starting any business and, and physical therapy practices aren't any different is uh, it's great to start your own business, especially if you don't know, really know what you're doing because you get to pick the 80 hours a week you work, right? <laughs> So I was thinking, I mean, I was worn out. I was tired. And in my practice in Tampa, we were a bit of a boutique practice. You know, we started in 2006 and discovered the newbie device, which is what boomed our cash pay, you know, in 2017. But with cash, you know, there's a couple of reasons we go to cash. We want higher revenue with less cost, right? Uh, Hopefully better outcomes because usually you'll have more time with the patients, but also you want a better quality of life, not just for the patient, but for the physical therapist and the practice owner. Make it if, it, if we can have a system or a tool or a technology or, or a device that can make your life easier, you know, that's like the holy grail, right? It's the perfect storm of success. So, you know, just get right to the numbers. Uh, my cash, you know, over the first 10 years, I averaged over counter. We only had two small locations. It was about eight grand a month. After adding a, a differentiator like like the newbie device, and now we brought HRV and a bunch of other things to market, um, we're regularly at fifty grand with the same square footage per month in cash. The first year of adding, you know, the newbie and charging cash for it, our net revenue per visit across all payers improved by fifteen dollars a visit. Uh, we moved locations in May. The first year, I really figured out how to do cash. May of twenty eighteen, and we had the best May in our ten year history. So, you know, if that doesn't get people awake, I don't know what will, right? Be happy to kind of talk more about the ins and outs of, of how to do that.